Greetings! I'm Epic Titus, and this is Epic Tech. Welcome back to the airport. Welcome back to this series. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to whatever you're back to. We are going to have some fun today. I hope. I always hope that. Sometimes I'm like, not so sure. But you know what? We're going to do our best to have some fun, no matter what the game throws at us. I'd love to make something faster than the mouse cursor that can kind of fly around the planet and look for signals. But unfortunately, nothing can go faster than that. However, there are some tricks. So antennas have a maximum range. Let's take a quick look at what signals we've got. Currently, we have... You know, the stuff that's kind of in this general area. And then we have stuff that's a little further away. We really don't. We are nowhere in range of really anything other than what's really close by. But antennas have the ability to go a lot further than that. As you saw when we made the drone that we sent down to the planet first. Let me just pop in here. I want to take a look at the maximum range for one of these airplane antennas. So the plane antenna can go up to 50 kilometers. So we may be able to make a kind of a drone vehicle that we can fly around the planet looking for signals. But the cool thing is, is signals can actually rebroadcast. So if I find a signal and I'm using a really long antenna range, even if that signal doesn't have that same antenna range, I'll be able to see it because it'll broadcast through my drone. So what do you say we make ourselves a little bit of a drone, fly it somewhere, and then see what we can see? Because I know that there's a lot more on this planet. It's just a matter of finding it. And I also really hate that. So, <laughs> the other thing is, I keep trying to access this cargo container, but for some reason, while it used to work, it doesn't really work anymore. It's just barely out of range. It's so close to being in range that I can actually access the door, but then I can't access the contents. If I jump, hit F, I can see it, and then it disconnects. So that doesn't work. But, if I do this jump and right click there we go I can build myself a sensor I'd like to build myself a sensor there we go build a sensor right there okay fine I'll use my thrusters I don't use, like using the jetpack if I don't have to, but this is going to be called the kneeling sensor. But I'm going to spell it with only two E's because I'm clever. It's going to detect players, but not the enemy. Not that I'm going to run across enemies, but... And then the action is going to set the wheels. Hmm, I need to actually set the wheel height offset. That's what I want to do. Which means I'm going to need a timer block. And I wouldn't mind having a few timer blocks in here. But, as you can imagine, having a bunch of timer blocks in such a small space isn't going to work very well. So let's use an old trick of mine. Regular rotor works fine. Why that suddenly make weird sounds? Add a small head. There we go. And then from here... Ooh, I don't like how much that's shaking. I'm sure it'll be fine. Now what we can do is we can actually attach things like computers and timer blocks to that. And they're much smaller. Actually, you know what? 
I'll just put the first timer block right on there. There. The timer block we're going to set up and we're going to call this... I like to call these TB and PB for programmable block. Uh, TB Neil. Set up actions. Groups. Wheels. Increase height offset. And I forgot that you can't put the same item in here twice. So I can't just say do increase height offset over and over again. I was just going to have it do it like five times. So I actually do need it to like reset it, rerun itself. So TB Neil start, and then it's got a one second delay. So if we actually start the TB Neil, it should once every second lower the the vehicle. Yeah, there we go. Let's see that timer is doing that. Let's just. I'm thinking this through, thinking it through. I need a couple more of these guys. Let's grab two more. So we're gonna do TB unneal. So TB unneal is going to also go one second and it's going to trigger the wheels to decrease height offset. And then that sensor, the kneeling sensor, the actions are going to be when it sees somebody, TB kneel, toggle block on. Uh oh. No, no, no. Just toggle block. Ooh. Eh. It's just going to toggle both of these. Oh, this is just, this is bad design right here. This is, this is horrible. I don't know what I'm doing. What's, what silliness is this? Okay. It's slowly racing itself up again. This is stupid. So my thought was that I could set it up so that it would lower when I'm in this space. I have this I have these this this is wrong. This isn't this shouldn't be front extent. This should be bottom extent. Silly me. So this is running. See, an unneal needs to be off. There we go. Now it's going to come down. Told you, this is just bad programming. Okay, so now if I leave, it should invert those. <laughs> That's just bouncing up and down for no reason. What? What did I do wrong? Set up actions. Oh, gosh. This is embarrassing. This is this is just embarrassing. My brain is not working properly. You know, there's a reason I don't normally do things with timer blocks and I use programmable blocks instead. Okay, forget the timer blocks. I've got an old friend called the Visual Script Builder. And actually, if you want to see a video on how to use it, I've got an old one from like a year ago. Uh, a lot of things have been changed, but for the most part, you'll find that it's still pretty much the same general principle, and it works great. So I just made myself a little script, and we're going to pop in here, and we're going to paste it in. There was one small issue, and that is that it didn't have height offset as an option. So I had to kind of figure out what that is, and... There we go. I just type in height at the end. We're going to hit check code. OK. Now, in theory, when we hit run, it should run every 100 milliseconds. And if this, hmm, I think that already should have done its thing, but it didn't. think it's because what it's saying is if the sensor block is active then set it to oh this is supposed to be negative 1.5 oh there it goes oh get out of here <laughs> um not sure that's such a good idea is that is that backward 
Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's totally backward. All right. That's okay. We'll just hop in here, edit, and we'll switch these. That should be 1.3 and negative 1.5. And we'll hit run. And then now, if I step away, <laughs> it hops up, but it's okay. But when I need to get in here and work on this, it should kind of fall down to where I can work on it. Maybe we shouldn't have it fall quite that far. Let's do 0 0.5. There we go. Now it's actually like a little bit off the ground. And when it jumps, it's not going to jump quite as far. And when I come in here, it'll fall down and I can access stuff, new things going on. Yeah, that's cool. I'm okay with that. Still not. I, I might even do another one with like stairs or something, so I don't have to use my jetpack to get up here. I like that. I want to set up another sensor. Uh, let me get the parts. Okay. And this one is going to be O2 H2 sensor. Two is not spelled like that. There we go. Uh, O2 H2 sensor, and then set up actions. So when you detect, we want the O2 generator on and then off. I guess that's really all I need. So now I should be able to refill my hydrogen and then walk away and it turns off the O2 generator. Eventually we're going to use some timer blocks to do some other things. I don't know what yet. We'll figure it out. All right, so that's nice. I remember what I originally did. I came over here specifically to get some parts and I couldn't reach. Let's grab some parts. <laughs> it's now a jumping mouse cursor. All right, let's make ourselves a kind of a drone-ish sort of thing. So what I want to do is make myself something that I can fly around, but isn't going to take too much power. So it's going to be built around a single thruster with some wings. Like what if we do like that kind of wing? Yeah? It does not seem very aerodynamic to me, but hey. There. Let's do something like this. Stick the remote control block on like this. So if I put a gyro on that side, and should I go with a reactor or a battery? I'm thinking battery. Like if I put that on there. I mean, it doesn't have any actual wheels yet, but could. Is that right? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. And then I could put the antenna right here. No, not I can't. I can't put the antenna right there. Uh, but I can put it on top. That would make sense. Right? Yeah. Why not? Should we weld this thing up and see if it can fly? I think I'm going to have to do something to get those wheels to actually be able to do anything. Like that. See? No problem. Now I can access the wheels without an issue. That was entirely intentional, right? Uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah. That was intentional. Add wheel, add wheel. Hey, look at that! We have wheels. Uh, we have, we have two wheels. Every time this thing comes down, it makes a thunking sound, and I think to myself, "Am I ruining my suspensions?" But I'm not, so it's fine. Okay, 
Just a few power cells. How many do I actually need? I need 120 power cells. You know what? I think I'm going to go with... Um, I think I'm going to go with a reactor. Oh. We have... What are you doing? What are you... What are you doing? It's off. What? Where were you going? And how and why? <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Oh, I know why. It it was trying. It was the inertial dampeners were trying to get it to be right. That's all. So if I do this guy like this and I hit Control. Whoa. Okay. Oh yeah, that was bad. Please don't break things. Uh-oh. <laughs> um, it's a very weak door. It wasn't my fault. I mean, it's only held on by one thing. What do you expect? Come on. It's not, it's not my fault. Uh, the gyro. Let's bring the power down to, like, 15% because it's kind of crazy. I wonder if I could use the override just to kind of... just want to put the nose down. Come on. Oh, wrong way. There we go. Look at that. Um, no, don't, don't keep going. No, don't keep going. Um, gyro off. <laughs> well, at least I can put that other wheel on. This is bringing back painful memories, everybody. Yeah, I broke things. Okay. <laughs> Not every time it jumps, it's... Carrying a hole in the... Okay. Whatever. Okay, that's all worked. That's all fixed up. Let's make this thing... Like, face the right direction now. You know, it looked better when it was upside down. <laughs> that's really goofy looking. Didn't realize how big those wheels were. I am going to take that out and move this. And now it's more back heavy and just tore a hole in the ground. <laughs> this game is silly. Oh, those wheels aren't finished. Construction components, large steel tube. Ah, oh, they're not supposed to look like donuts. This thing's even more goofy looking than it was before. Darn it. Oh well. Come on, tilt forward, tilt forward and stay. <laughs> nothing in between. Eh, whatever. Hopefully now it'll actually stay forward. I mean, honestly, even if I just put a block there and there, that would keep it from hitting the gyro. Just set it nicely on its butt. And then we're going to put this even further forward. And this door is driving me nuts. So I am going to let it fall all the way. Come on, get off my... Get off! Get off! Let go! There we go. All right, all fixed up. Let's see how this vehicle does now.
Hey, look at that. Ooh, hello, tire. Alright, let's get this out of the way. Alright, let's go into the terminal for this guy. First of all, we're going to set the remote control. Let's do... Uh, set the remote control to have a default camera. Now when I hit control, it'll automatically grab that camera view. Beautiful. Come on. Hang on, if I just use the... Whoa! I have a tendency to forget just how powerful this gyro is on a vehicle this small. Now the question is, do I have any chance of actually getting this thing in the air? Or controlling it in any way? No. That's the answer. Oh, come on. It's got to be able to fly. Oh, wait. <laughs> I know what the problem is. The problem is I turned off the thruster. There we go. Let's give that a try again with a thruster. It, I was about to say it easily gets into the air, but not so much. Oh, no, not too bad. Not too bad. So on one... On one piece of uranium, it can go for 25 minutes at full thrust. It's not too bad. And, of course, it's very slidey because I don't have a tail. Might need to do a little bit of work on this thing. Okay, let's see if we can uh, manage to... Yeah, okay, okay. So, I'm going to see if I can land this thing. I'll make a couple of quick changes, and then we should be able to load it up with fuel and fly it around the planet. Oh, this is going to look all kinds of goofy. I love it. There. I don't know. That is the strangest looking thing ever. It's actually kind of cool. I like it. Now we just need to paint it. I think it should be a dark red. You know why? No? Oh, neither do I. Let's see if this flies any better. Wow. Turns around crazy fast. Oh, okay. It. Well, it's got its issues. What happened to the. Oh, I moved the gyro. So now it's. <laughs> okay. There we go. I'm just gonna. Oh, jeez. No, cannot control this at all. Okay, can I please get in here and gyroscope power way down? There we go. Much better. Nice, gentle changes in speed, or no, rotation, whatever. Oh boy, oh boy. Whoa, that caught. So, first of all, let's name this thing as... Spy Plane 1. 
I don't know why. I'm gonna put a, a camera pointing down so that if I'm flying high up, I can look straight down on things. There we go. So now I should be able to actually control this from within my ship. And then I don't have to worry about, uh, you know, oxygen and power and stuff like that. So I'm going to test this out by flying back the way I came, getting within range of an antenna that I currently cannot see. Landing and then letting it act as a relay point for me. Looks like we're almost back to Iron Ridge Lodge or whatever it's called. I can never remember the name of this place. It's Iron Mountain, Iron something. Iron Horse, Iron Wood. I don't know. One way or another, we're almost here and I'm realizing that we are almost 40 kilometers away and the antenna only goes 50. So I underestimated how large the planet is. I am going to turn off the thrust override and I'm gonna turn all the way around and press forward. <laughs> Tricky. I think we can land in this general area. Oh boy. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting landing one way or another. Cuz I didn't put any air brakes on this guy. That would have been that would have been smart. I, I, I kind of want to go into a nosedive and then just land it on the wheels. Whoa! Okay, that's not exactly what I was trying to do. Okay. And trees. And nasty, craggy rocks. And lots of bad things. And I've probably broken something now. Or at least gotten stuck. Have I gotten myself stuck? Jeez. Nope. Yep. Oh! Ooh, I heard that. What did I lose? I've got a front wheel. That's good. Oh, hey, and there's actually... Isn't there a way to... Yeah. Okay, I still have power. Obviously, I have an antenna. Um... Okay. There's not a whole lot else. I don't know what I lost, but something broke. Oh, okay, there's no additional antennas over here anyway. You know what? Let's take off and see what else we can find. So I think if I follow this road down, I should find some other antennas. Wasn't there originally like a... An interference. There's a signal interference or something at the bottom of this road. I should be able to see that. Oh yeah, there we go. See radio interference detected at this location. So if I can land near that... I should be able to see that all the way back from the airfield and kind of get a better feel for where I am. This is how to land. You just basically point your no nose at the ground, and when you get close, you lift the nose up and let the wheels hit the ground. But um, see? See, that's how it works. So now I think... Ah, okay, there's just so many together that I couldn't see them all. Wait, ASMI Resource Outpost. I don't remember that. Let's... Let's go see what that is. Is that something I already saw? I wonder if that would... Whoa! <laughs> okay. Sometimes lag is scary. Yeah, see, that's that place I was hanging out at before. 
It was it was free stuff, is what it was. Okay, I gotta be careful not to get more than 50 kilometers away from the civil airfield, or this thing will just disconnect and I will crash and burn. Okay, yeah, I do remember that resource collection thing now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I, uh... May have just lost it. Okay. Well, you know... The cursors lasted, like, three episodes now. And so... It was time we lost some kind of vehicle. We'll just have to take the cursor around to the other side of the planet. Maybe next episode we'll extend... The cursor a bit... Uh, and we'll add some more thrusters, maybe some landing thrusters, now that we can make them. That could be fun. I don't know what else we would need to to add. That's okay. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So, um, yeah, hit thumbs up. And I'll see you next time on Epic Tech.